Adam's arms. You can see same made in the same way as the legs. Add a little more texture to him. So stay. Now I'm gonna add some little spines down his back. Little triangles. Little pyramid shapes. I'm trying not to smush anything else out of shape. And let's see, I'll start right behind his horns. Now for the wings. We have our wing shape over here. Take your exacto knife, cut around your wing shape. And if you have one that you want to use more than once, you can always uh, trace it out on the cardboard to make it a little more sturdy and a little easier to use as a pattern. They have to go in the opposite directions here. Okay. Now, to shape the little veins and wings, just pinch right down from the top point to the bottom point. the same thing to the second point. And the clay holds that shape, which I think is really neat. And then do the same thing for the other one. And support it with your finger behind it. And this is a really easy way that I've discovered to make the veins and the wings. Now, if these were going to be freestanding wings, I would have wires for support. Okay, now. Get the wings on the dragon. Alright, there we go. Gently press the wing like this. And you see, this is the back of the wing. We'll just fold it over. And we want it touching the dragon all along here for support. We'll do the other side. Do this here. tips touching. Okay, there you see. He's got nice support there. And now it's time to attach our dragon to our base. We've got some liquid polymer clay. Put it on the bottom of the dragon just to make sure that he's attached. Press ever so gently, and then we'll figure out how we want his tail. I think I'm just going to have it wrapped around here. I'll just put a little line of liquid polymer clay where I want his tail to sit.
press it down. And then we'll take that little texture tool here. Give him some scales on his tail. This will help press it down too. Okay. All right. Now you're going to want to bake this guy. I would say about an hour to be safe. Bake him an hour at 275 degrees for Primo polymer clay. Any other brand, check the package and make sure you bake at the right time and temperature. Then the next step in this project will be to add the flowers. So, we shall return. <laughs> 